So hi and welcome back uh, from Oridev with the night hacking interviews and we have a new guest here, Nicola Owen. So yeah, hi and could you please introduce yourself? Uh, what do you do? Hi, I'm Nicola. I'm a test consultant with House of Test mm -hmm. based in Sweden, but I'm originally from New Zealand. House of Test is a context-driven testing consultancy. Uh -huh. So we think that there's no one-size-fits-all approach for testing. We mm -hmm. adapt to the context. That's oh. me in a nutshell, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, and you also did a presentation yes. um, here. So you did it already, so now you can be relaxed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I did a presentation yesterday afternoon on reducing the fear of go-live or mm -hmm. being more confident with your deploys into mm -hmm. production. Uh, which meant that today I've enjoyed the conference a lot more right. because I'm less stressed. Right, right. Yeah. And um, so your conference talk was not only about tests, maybe like in two sentences, what, what is it about or what's like the takeaway? I'd say one is fostering a safe environment in which people can share the concerns mm -hmm. so that when you go live, if anyone has say, an unpopular opinion, they actually feel safe enough to share them. Mm -hmm. That's not a given. And second, knowing that more testing doesn't necessarily mean you can have more security okay. in your deploy. Mm -hmm. So knowing when's a good time to stop. Right, right. So that at the end of the day, uh, you also add features to your software and not just tests, right? Yeah, I mean, we, like, we, we talked a little bit earlier right. how I feel the more time you spend testing, then that is less time that the features. With mm -hmm. the customer, that's less time you can spend on other things. Right. So I'm not saying that you should be so aggressive and push things live before you're ready, but I think you do need to consider that we don't all have all the time in the world and you should use your time wisely mm -hmm. and also select your tests and your approach wisely, mm -hmm. knowing what I just said in the background. Right, so just to balance that in a productive way? Yes, kind of? okay. yep. All right, and is it is it your first time at, at Oridev at the conference? Yeah, I had heard of it last year or the year before because mm -hmm. one of my colleagues was on the program committee in the okay. test part, I think. Right. Uh, so I had kind of heard of it, and I knew it was a developer conference, mm -hmm. but then judging by the speakers, and I mean, I've, I've gone through the list of speakers, and the sessions, it seems to be mainly developer conference, but then also product management and UX right, and test. Right. So that surprised me a little bit. Yeah. And this is then why you said, okay, then I will. I mean, so when I applied to speak at Eurodev, I applied to be pushed out of my comfort zone. So mm -hmm. I've spoken at testing conferences before, uh -huh, okay. but to an extent, I feel like I was preaching to the choir. Mm -hmm. I mean, th we're, you know, I'm a tester, they're testers. Yeah, you so know. you. So, so share the same yeah, <laughs> language and experience. Often, and yes, mm -hmm. uh, and the same problems. Right. And then when I was creating my talk, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to make the assumption like 70, 80% of the de audience are developers. Mm -hmm. And when I asked the question in the audience, that was roughly the number of people who put their hands up. So I really wanted to make sure that I could relate to them. And right. I asked for advice from my friends who are developers uh -huh. on my talk and feedback because I didn't want to speak and say things that they just couldn't relate to at all. Right, I mean, right. I wanted to make sure that they walked out with some sort of value after and didn't just waste 40 minutes of their time. Right, right. Yeah, and this can uh, be very interesting. It's, it's interesting that you mention it because um, uh, you're from New Zealand and mm. actually I've been there for, um, for a conference, um, also speaking there for an API conference mm. on um, HTTP APIs and REST and hypermedia. And um, I had a topic um, to do hypermedia with Java mm. and normally I gave that at a Java conference. Mm. So that, is the first, that was the first time a non-Java conference. Mm. And there was a similar experience. I talked about Java things and then I um, occasionally got questions like, what is this POJO? Like Java okay, plain so they didn't know Java what you're objects. They yeah. did not know the terminology at all. you're using. Exactly. Oh. And, and then you don't share the same knowledge. And this is where I realized, oh my God, yes, I, this is a like totally different audience and mm. totally different yeah, language you, you have to use. And I don't know, uh, do you have maybe a similar experience in here when you say, okay, now this is really, this feels different than on a testing conference, for example? Um, I mean, to be honest, I've gone more to the quality and mm -hmm. UX and product management mm -hmm. talks in this conference okay. so far. So I haven't had that problem because like when I was going through the session descriptions, mm -hmm. there were some that I just, I just didn't know 
what they're referring to. So I wasn't going to spend uh-huh. my time. And then I looked through the session description and I thought, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'd get any value because I think it's focused at a level like they use technology that I've never used or used right. very little of. Right. Um, so I decided to skip those. Maybe next year. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, and I... And it's weird because... I didn't really want to walk out of a session. Like it feels a bit, you feel <laughs> yeah, a bit yeah. bad. I mean, so I kind of was wanting to be, I wouldn't say selective, but careful in choosing. I mean, I'm not sure. I know in some conferences they have a, a law of two feet, which yes. means right. if you don't like the talk, feel free to leave because you should be reaping as much benefits from the conference as possible. Exactly. Not sure if that applied here. So because of that, I wanted to, mm-hmm. like, I'm sure I'll enjoy this. I'm sure I'll reap benefits. Right. And then... Hence, the terminology talk coming back to your question mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right. was not a problem. Okay, yeah, this, this is good. Another approach is always to, to sit in the back and take your laptop and then you... <laughs> ah, <laughs> as last okay. Resort. I mean, because there are some people or some rooms have those standing, not desks, but tables, like a, like a bar. Yeah. And then I guess that's their out. And that's it's easier that's to what leave there. Yeah, or at least mentally leave mm-hmm. there. I mean, because you're at the talk still, but then you've switched your laptop. right. right. Yeah, that's a yeah. good good approach. Yeah, and um, be, uh, besides that, what's your your takeaway from the overall conference, or maybe for um, for the uh, audience who does not attend Oridev here, what mm. what's your um, experience f- with with Oridev? I'd say I like the variety, the fact that it's a conference that is overall focused on software development and not just a specific role. So you're almost definitely going to go to talks you wouldn't otherwise go to mm-hmm. if it was a conference focused mm-hmm. on your role. on a specific yep. area. Uh, for example, I actually just went to a talk on, I think it was called High Performance and Psychological Safety. And I don't know if you typically see that at a testing conference. Okay. And it was talking about, okay, this, this is my understanding of what he spoke about. So yeah. <laughs> two different things. How you should have psychological safety in the company or in teams and that those are high performing. And he used Google as an example where that was a number one factor Mm -hmm. in identifying high performing teams. So yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Basically reasonable. The TLDR is you, you try things, you see things that you wouldn't otherwise normally see and some really good speakers, including the talk I just mentioned that I just went to after the, before this interview. Mm-hmm. Sounds, sounds very interesting. Yeah, so thanks, uh, thanks a lot, Nicola. Thank Any you. last things you want to share with, uh, with the live audience? Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Cool, yeah. All right, thanks for watching and bye.